Hello and welcome back to Factorio and today we're gonna have fun because we are gonna play with trains today. So I will go through how to get trains up and running. I will craft them and I will set up a network to some other place more specifically over here because we have a quite quite decent well relative to what we have here this is quite okay as well but it's a decent iron ore and mine and it's close enough to get started so set this up i will have a new base over there we'll have some protection well perhaps not that many 15 uh, turrets should be more than i need and down here exactly here will be the place where we will do the unloading of the iron ore send it up here and uh, i think that's it that's basically what we will have time to do uh, there are more stuff to do for example train signals and how to get things up and running with this several trains at the same time in the same track but that's uh, we won't have time to do that today so we'll just place a few of these gates that I researched some time ago. You can just run past, run through them. Very convenient. And uh, yeah, I think that's, I think we have everything we need. I think so. Good, we can go come and leave as we want. I think the, the gates, they are, let's see, health. Yeah, it's the same health as the uh, walls, so uh, there are no downsides with those, I think, unless you happen to go too close and <laughs> send them in. Okay, let's start with the how you can have the train station over here. So we will have... Oh, did I research that? Yeah, train stops. We need one train stop per her stop of course hmm here is probably good trains are quite long so don't underestimate the the amount of space that you will need actually I could have it no I think that's good and I will probably just send it a little, little further once these are done. Uh, yep, we'll wait for that. And then we need some curved ones as well. So give me 10 perhaps. Like this. And these are quite long and they can be tricky to place. And I'm already failing because I wanted it to be down here. Hmm. Then I will need to move these anyway. Well, I think it's good enough anyway. They are quite slow compared to other things to break, but that's okay. Okay, this will be the train stop and let's place a stop. Okay something like this and i'll move the base yeah this will be just perfect i think you always need to have these on the right side don't quote me on that but uh, there are requirements and let's place back our turret down here and give it some ammo okay so this will be the first train stop you can see it on the map jacob Lichtfeld. Lichtfeld. And this will be, I will take care of that this later. And this will be the entry point to our base. So make sure we have decent gun defense exactly when uh, where we open this or you will have, be in a lot of trouble. And that's Warning, warning. Yep, we're fine. 
It won't be for very, very long, I can guarantee you, but for some time we are just fine. And then like that, and we should go up just a little, not much. Easiest way to do this again, zoom and just run sideways. Like that, and then we'll continue. Oops, I have just gonna get some. Remember, we set up some auto crafting for rail tracks. I have nothing left, so let me just pick those. Always have 100 in this chest, and now it will start again. This is so perfect. Good, now we can continue. We also need power. So let's make sure that we have some big electric poles. I have one over here already set up. And these have a quite good reach. So, and just you don't have to have it close to the track, not at this point. But I will for the sake of convenience. And I hope these hundred will be, will be enough. I think so. Make some space and oops, I forgot to set the next pole. The reach is quite decent. I guess when you have electric trains later, now we'll run it on coal, but the electric ones will be uh, will run on electricity, I would guess. I haven't seen them yet myself, but just a <laughs> just a good guess. And we should go up just a little perhaps because we'll have the next stop up here just where we have the mine. Let me just clear out and I'll be right back. Okay, turned quite dark, but let's get started anyway. So let's say we have the train stop like this. It should be quite long. So we can fit the entire train. You can have trains in the, in the corners and diagonally, but I wouldn't recommend it because the inserters will have problems with, uh, with with the reach like so and let's see if we we are almost have enough we almost have enough well we might have enough <laughs> Final piece of this puzzle is down there, and then I just the last few. Perfect. We have the setup, just some electricity to. Well, you could have this. You could use electricity for with local production. It's of course whatever you want to do. Let's see if we can find fit one here and something like that. Okay, now we will have a train stop here, end of the line. And there are I don't know these by, not by heart. You have to have them at specific places. So what we will have is like the first seven blocks perhaps. You can't have anything. But then you should have, you should stack them quite closely like this. And you should have, well should, you can have chests like this. And then just have some inserters like that. And then we'll have some transport belts here and all the, uh, what are they called, the, the mining drills 
up here. So that should be fine. And here we can use, and I will rearrange these depending on how the train looks. So let's go back and while we're running, we want two cargo wagons. So I will have a train with two wagons and I will have two trains as well. One train to go forward and one train to go backwards. The big benefit of that is to have, uh, if, you wanna, if you want to be able to go back and forth on one track like this, you know you need two trains. If you only have one train, you'll need some weight for the train to go around in a big uh, loop. So that'll just take more space. But uh, since we will need more trains later anyway, I will begin with two. And if you remember, we set up some engine production. So let's take like, well, 40. That's what I said last time. We need 40 engines because now we can craft two diesel locomotives. And it's quite fun that they are called diesel locomotives because they will run on coal. But okay, no worries. And that coal, yeah, that coal will need to be manually fed for some time. And I have some up here. Let's grab a few stacks and we should be fine. Let's see if we can fix this underground path here. Where it go here? Like first just with that. So that's connected and everything. And underground belt. Hmm. Then this doesn't work. Too bad. Then we will just have to rearrange it. No problems. Okay, fine. Like that. Good. Now we're up and running. So now the train can pass and come and everything. Here we will have a similar setup as the other one. So let's place the wagons. And once you place them down and you just move, you will see when they snap together. So that's quite convenient. And we have the locomotives. One in that direction. And one in that direction. It says no fuel. You know the symbol. And yeah, and here you can see the well. Um, if I want to reach this, it can be tricky to fill it with coal. So I might rearrange this just a little to get it longer here or longer here. Let's see how that looks. And now we can see you have a new train station name, Angulan. Is it cold now? So now, can we just block this? Doesn't look good, I'll fix it later. And let's fill it with some coal just to get started. Oh, okay, let's see. Research, research. You see these rail signals? These are required if you want to have multiple trains. It just, well, says that in plain text. Oil processing, we'll need that quite soon. So uh, yeah, but not today. To run with to load it, you can just click the view locomotive and fill it with the, with coal like that. Now we can press enter while they're next to it and you can run it backwards or forwards. That's uh, how we want it and it will automatically stop at the end of the station and it, this was too close. Good to know, I didn't know that. Okay, that looks better. So now everything is straightened up and we can actually plan out where to have 
like here and here and we can use like wooden chests and fill them with coal so each time the train stops here coal will be inserted automatically if we have power oh fix that later and now we'll do the same setup as we had down uh, over there yeah these are done so we can remove those and we these are soon to be finished so it will be i will have more space here within short i hope now let's see two three four five six seven one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this one, I don't know which one it belongs to. Could be that one. I'm not sure. I don't want it to pick out the coal, so I will start with that. So what we can see here is that we need some power to it. 7 times 7, like that. And you can see the arms extending. If I place some copper ores in here, they will immediately just dump everything on the ground. So that's good. Now we know that's working. And that means we can place steel chests as buffers all the way. And then we can do the same thing. I will start with normal. Yeah. This will soon be moved. This uh, I'll take care of it, or just skip it. I just want to get things up and running this episode, and I clean it up later. So the train will always be able to get emptied as fast as possible. I also researched this inserter. Uh, is it this one? If I haven't, I should do this, so they can extract more at the same time I think it's two items at a time and then basically we just hook this up to uh, to the iron like that perhaps we'll have it in two lines something like that and we probably need We we'll probably need some faster tracks like these ones, fast transport belts. But uh, I'll fix that in a while once we're up and running. So let me just fix the wires and uh, the belts and I'll be back in a cut. Okay, everything is now hooked up. So let me just grab some uh, iron ores and we'll give it a quick test. So we'll place half of them in here and half in here. So everything just got dumped into the chest, steel chests first, and then moved up here. So uh, I will say that I will say it's working. So now we just need to fix the uh, the other track. So let's go over there and we'll see what we can do. These, they move so smoothly. And by the way, when you drive these manually, don't go full speed into these stops. They will stop automatically, but uh, just take it easy. Um, just for the <laughs> for safety. Okay, now we can see we are, uh, we need a few more. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four. I was using seven each, seven on each cargo wagon, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Three more. One, two. And which one? I would like to see how this looks. Oh, 
let's see if we just move them then we can see yeah so we need one two three four five six one more over here to unload like we want to and then if we do the same test over here then we should have one two three four five six seven okay so now it's we are aligned to to the build to the tracks and now we should have power for these as well and we actually need some more transport belts so let's see and i'll do some something similar here to to have different tracks coming down here so we don't have every, everything on the same yeah. And perhaps use these splitters as well. We'll see. It's not a big problem. We'll take care of it in a while. So what we'll have to do now is... Before we do anything, we can actually set the train up to be prepared for this. So if I just click on the train, we'll get this schedulizer. These are the two stations that are available on this track. It is the ones that we have identified from this track, from this train. If we have different train stations on other tracks, they won't show up here anyway. And this is called, you can see the map, Dunstrom. So start by saying Dunstrom add station. And here we should specify for how long we should be here. I was talking. Oil processing, sulfur, plastics. These are for, we should have gun turrets. Um, I was saying that Dunstrom, time to wait in the station in seconds, 30 seconds is probably not enough. Let's bump it up to 60. But for testing purposes, we can have it at 15 seconds. And I'll change this later when we're up and running. After that, go to Angulon, add station. And since this is the unloading and the safe spot in the main base, we could have this perhaps two minutes. This should be aligned with how many, how your faster processing is. But for test purposes, again, let's have it like 10 seconds. So less than we should have. And this is all you have to do in terms of setup. So now if we just enter the train, you don't have to do that, but I want to go on a trip to demonstrate. And we just say Angulon, go to station, run train. So now when we get there, we will be there for 10 seconds. We will do some coal loading. So let me close this. Coal will be inserted in both trains if required. As you can see here, we have. Oh, we are, they are too far away. I'll fix that later. See, they're one block too high. We were there for just a while and then we went back. So uh, I guess everything is running. So now we can actually stop the train and. Pish, stop the train. And we should be here probably 60 seconds and the main base perhaps three, three minutes. But we are stopped now, so no problem. We still have some coal in there, no problems. Now it's time to set this up. So what I will do now is to place out gun turrets, mining drills and chop down a lot of wood so uh, and this will take me a few minutes and i guess you know exactly how this will look so 
I'll be back in a cut. I think that's the best thing to do here. Okay, we're in the middle of uh, of the point where we will finish all this up and start all these machines that I've just placed out in a strange way. This will I mean this will be rearranged well, all the time since <laughs> That looks strange. This will be rearranged since we have... I will add more uh, mining drills and we will have to expand this up here anyway. So, but the train station will be untouched. So it's down here. I will place all the... Again, I was talking. Let's start with plastics and sulfur. These will be required quite probably before we have use of the gun turret upgrade. So sulfur, go. The train station will probably not be moved. I'll just expand the uh, drills up and up and up. So it's down here. I will have all the protection for this. Okay, and the rest is in the base, so uh, we'll have to wait with that final part. But now things should be up and running. I will add more, as I said, and I will have some protection here and here and, you know, around. Okay, so I think uh, I think it's finished for uh, for today. I think it it's as good as it's as it will be today. Uh, this will be arranged as this mine will deplete and this will be uh, redrawn. And I can also expand these uh, steel furnace lines slightly a, a few more, and uh, they are still quite fast. I also set all this line back in use again. So now we can actually let's jump on the train and set it. What's it called? This one? Angulon. Okay, good. When you click the go to station, it will just skip the timer. But, uh, but now we're going to Dunstrom and it should be there for 60 seconds. So let's see how much we can load. And while we do that, like you see here, we're quickly filling up with iron ore. So within 60 seconds now, it should move on. And we can do this while we wait. Okay, we have some ammo and I will need to fill this up even more. So far we can keep up with the uh, small income that we have. No problems. And I don't know how much, if I will place walls up here all the way. I haven't decided. But it's uh, for, for now it's, uh, I think it can work. Let's see, are you moving soon? Yep, there it goes. So as you can see, we still have space left and I should have gone with it because I don't know if it was completely full. So you should balance the time at the station with how much you have in, in uh, well, how long time it takes to empty these chests and so on. And I think it's a bad idea to run on the, tr on the rail because if the train comes, yeah, it might be dangerous. So let's use the gate instead. But here it should be for three minutes and you can see it's unloading. It's unloading really quickly and it seems like all are put to use. Yeah, you can see 60 seconds was enough to 
almost fill it up completely. So uh, 60 seconds is good. Here we can have three minutes. I think that's okay. And now look at the symphony once again. We are getting so much income. So we're getting tons of iron plates and not as much of these. So if I want to, I could disable these ones. For each and every one of these inserts I disable, I will get more steel plates. So that's just balancing how you want to do it. And if you want to, since this is full, then you can continue with uh, let's see, more steel chests. Here we have them. Like that, I think. Oh, we ended up with too much on the floor, on the ground. So now this should keep up much better and these should be upgraded to steel ones as well, of course. So I think now we are now we have a train up and running. Uh, the train won't care about if it's unloaded or not. You can't really decide that, but you can make sure that you have fast and many inserters to keep up. And after that, it will just it should just uh, take care of itself. So I don't have. I haven't looked at the time, but I think it will be leaving within very short. And uh, I think that's it for this episode, actually. We will need coal soon. This coal mine is depleting. We have not much left. 12 left in this one. A little more left than we'll need. Well, I have up here as well. Ah, batteries. Good. This will be fun. Next, so I have coal up here, put in a stock. That's good. Oh, perfect timing. Train is leaving and so am I. Thanks for watching this one. I hope I see you in the next one as well. I don't know what to cover then, but uh, time will tell. Take care, I'll see you.